So this right here is one of the best kept secrets in tech right now. It's a fitness tracker that does 90% of what a $300 smartwatch does, but it costs only $65. And at least here in the North American market, companies just don't advertise these. They much prefer you to buy their $300 smartwatches that have much higher margins. This one in particular is from Xiaomi. I bought it off of Amazon. I'll leave a link below. But even Samsung has a comparable version that is a similar price point. Now these aren't identical to smartwatches. There are very small differences and we're gonna discuss that in this video. So one of the main ones is the build quality, being that this is $65. It's made out of plastic. So this is not metal like you find on the more expensive smartwatches. But I do find overall that for being plastic, the build quality is fine. I don't have any issues. It's still waterproof. You can take it to the gym, bang it up, and it's gonna keep working just fine. And just like with the more expensive smartwatches, these have interchangeable bands. So you can really dive into that ecosystem if that's something you're into. The second main difference is the independence from a smartphone. That's really the big difference between a fitness tracker and a smartwatch, because this does not have built-in cellular, GPS, and no built-in microphone. So you can't independently take, say, phone calls from this device. Now, of course, this can still track your runs and all that kind of stuff, but it needs to be connected to a phone in order to have that functionality. And then the third and final difference between this and a smartwatch is the apps. So we have a ton of apps on the smartwatch, but you cannot download additional third-party apps. So the SOC apps, they give you access to all of the abilities of the watch, like heart rate tracker, sleep monitoring, uh, stopwatch. This is all you have. You cannot download additional, say, games or anything like that. But I think most people use their smartwatch primarily as a health fitness tracker and to get notifications on their wrist. And all of that, this thing can do just fine. So notifications, a quick swipe down from the top. I have none right now, but if you did have friends, it would appear right here. Home screens are customizable. You control this via the app. I'll show you that in a second. But just from the watch, you could preload a ton of different watch faces and change them just like so. I preferred this watch face because it shows you a ton of health information. So the time, the date, the weather, uh, a graph of your heart rate. And then if you swipe to the left, here is customizable widgets. So there's five pages and through the app, you can customize exactly what appears here. If you swipe in the other direction, you get access to the quick settings, and then up from the bottom are the aforementioned applications. And this is the accompanying app that allows you to, in more detail and more easily, see your, your health data and adjust different settings on the watch. At the top here, we have my last recorded workout. Kind of cool, it shows you a graph of your heart rate, how long it took, estimated calories burned. The watch, of course, has sleep tracking. Apparently last night I got nine and a half hours, not too shabby. So this is a day view. We can look back over the past week, past month like so. We have historical heart rate data here, same format, past day, past week, past month, a step counter. And then the other main sensor here or ability is the blood oxygen level. And if we come to the device tab here, we can uh, customize how the watch looks. Things like the watch face, the apps, widgets. So right here at the top, we have the watch faces. You can browse. I think there's like uh, well over a hundred. When you find one you like, you can click it and apply. You can sort the apps that appear when you swipe up on the watch. So only the apps that you care about will show up. And the other main uh, customization is the widgets page. So these are the, the four pages. You can go in and select what widgets you want to appear on each page. So my setup consists of sleep tracker, media controls. The next page is my blood oxygen monitoring, a stopwatch. This is how I can initiate my workouts right here. Weather step counter, this right here is a stress tracker. And that's basically it. We have nice, useful watch faces, customizable widgets, notifications, and a few built-in applications like a stopwatch, workout tracking, sleep tracking, blood oxygen level, pulse, media control, stopwatch, and a few more. So this thing to me is 90% the functionality of a smartwatch at a fraction of the cost. Again, this thing is just $65. So if you wanna spend $300, $400 on a smartwatch in order to get uh, a metal build quality and built-in GPS, then, I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. 
but this is just a fantastic value in my opinion. So I'll leave this as well as the very similar Samsung offering linked below the video. If you guys enjoyed, I appreciate a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.